chug, 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 chug. This week's Drink of the Week segment is brought to you by those holiday times with family members, especially that drunk aunt or uncle that tells you too much information about your mom or dad. <laughs> you don't need to hear all those stories. You know, Uncle Uncle Joe, I don't need to hear the story about, you know, my mom doing X, Y, Z. Like, and why do you even know that? So let's, like, yeah. So, Is there so, anything that you want to share with us? Nope, nope. It didn't happen to me. Not, nope. Haven't, <laughs> l- luckily, I have not had that encounter um, with my family. But, you know, I, I know plenty of families that have had that, that situation pop off. So, Thankfully, it hasn't been mine, but yeah. So this week's this week's uh, drink of the week segment is going to be reviewing the Bell's Christmas Ale out of Comstock, Michigan. It is a Scotch Ale by Bell's Brewery Inc. We figured we'd give you guys a Christmas Ale since it is Christmas week this week. Um, the label itself says that. It's a traditional Scotch ale, is rich and malty with notes of caramel and warm finish, certain to make any occasion festive or at least a bit more bearable, uh, hence the drunk aunt or uncle story. Uh, Mm -hmm. Enjoy with the company of friends and family. It is a 7.5% alcohol by volume. And Chris, we noted uh, before we got on here, the interesting here, they give a packaging date and a shelf life on the label. Yeah, it's a shelf life of six months. I've never seen that on a bottle before. No, hey, kudos to them, though. That lets me know if I buy it. I know if I lose it in the back of the fridge behind the mustard and the relish that uh, I got six months to find it and drink it. So Right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it has it on here, enjoy with company of friends and family. I don't know. Whenever I, I'm drinking around family, it's usually not for enjoyment. It's more out of necessity, but. Yeah, so I've never had a Scotch Ale, so I'm very interested to to drink this um, beer. It, this will be my first time drinking a, a Scotch Ale beer, uh, so uh, I, that's one of the reasons why I picked it up for us to review. And because you know, with it being a Christmas ale and Christmas this coming week, I figured it'd be good to to give a Christmas beer as well. You never forget your first, right? <laughs> Depends on who that first is with. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> I haven't forgot mine, but again, it depends on who it's with. Whenever you're smelling it, do you smell anything? I'm not getting much at all. No. Like, as far as, you know, um, looking to, to pick up on spices or anything like that, like, no, there's not there's nothing that immediately comes out of the, the bottle and goes, okay, I can expect to taste this. Yeah, I know. I mean, what it says, I'm definitely picking up first sip of that multi finish to it. it it's smooth. Seven and a half and smooth. Yeah, there's some flavor in here. Yeah, the the rich and malty with notes of caramel and warm finish, like that that is dead on spot mm-hmm. on what this beer is when you're drinking it for sure. For a Christmas ale and kind of like the Christmas ale and the winter warmers sometimes can be heavily spiced. This is just a perfect smooth thin like I'm not getting any heavy aftertaste. I'm not like I'm not Smelling a lot, like, to overpower that. I'm not getting any heavy aftertaste with that at all. It is a smooth beer, and I can get in trouble with this. I, I, you know, because this is my first Scotch Ale that I've drank, I, I will definitely look into other Scotch Ales just, yeah. to, just to see if I like them as much as I enjoy this one. Like, I am very surprised at how this is. It, you know, it was a shot, in a shot in the dark, throwing a dart at a dartboard, trying to just pick a, a random beer to sample and like this is a really good beer like really good beer last week we had the uh southern tier one old man winner um and i like that i like that because it was light it was crisp and i felt like i could drink a lot of that this one i really i'm really enjoying it um it's a little bit heavier uh and so i don't feel like i could really sit down and have a six pack of this and i think they were both the same percentage i think they were both seven and a half this one, this one might a, might be a little bit more, or you could be yeah. right. They could be spot on, but yeah, the, this the Christmas ale is a, is heavier for sure. Not not heavy as far as a, a, a like a stout or anything, mm-hmm. but compared to the winter warmer, it is a, it is a little bit heavier of a beer. But I tell you what, like if you space these out properly, you can ride that just solid buzz straight through Christmas Eve and wake up Christmas morning ready to go. Yeah. You know, like don't sit, if you, you know, don't pound them down. Um, 
but this is like, you know, everybody's showing up at the house, taking coats and everything else, cracking one open, and then just steady, steady pace throughout the evening. You'll have a that nice continued buzz, and it'll be, it'll yeah. This is this will I will look forward to this for sure. I've had Scotch ales before, and I know I've liked them. I can't. I really couldn't tell you ones I've had in the past, you know, because it's been a while. Um, but I, I'm I'm impressed by this. I, I like Bell's Two Hearted. That's like the beer that I am most familiar of with the Bell's Brewery, and that's a very popular, heavy, out, like high percentage beer. Um, and they they aren't disappointing with this Christmas ale either. First time, first time anything from Bell's for me, and like I said, I will definitely be on the lookout for other things from their brewing company as well as other Scotch ales to compare and contrast and see, you know, if it's just this particular Scotch ale that's really good that I like, or if it's you know something where I'm going to turn into a Scotch ale beer drinker here mm. moving forward. So, all right, enough putting this beer over. Sumo scale mm -hmm. one to five. Where would you rank the Bell's Brewing Inc. Christmas ale, Scotch ale. I think I'm going to go with a 4.25 on this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it steady at a four. Last, you know, to, to go along last week with the old man winter. I am very surprised, pleasantly surprised, very happy with this beer. And like I said, slow and steady wins the race with this. It, it's seven and a half percent alcohol. It's very enjoyable to drink. Great, great taste, great flavor. You definitely get that warming feeling. Um, yeah. You know, on a cold, cold winter day, like you do a shot of bourbon or sip on some bourbon, a little warm sipper, like you can feel the mm -hmm. the warm. And as I'm drinking this, I can feel, you know, the, the warmth, which is rare from a beer. So yeah. I would highly suggest this and, and go with a four. I, I agree with you because I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking like for the people that like a shot in a beer, I don't think you need the shot. I think this this will get you there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's a 4.25 from Chris and a four for myself on the sumo scale for the Bell's Brewery Inc. Christmas Ale. And as always, with every drink of the week, we ask that you pick up your bottles, cans, your shots, your brown paper bags, whatever you're drinking with, uh, with us this week and hold them up high as we go to wood ships and good ships and ships that sail to seas. But the best ships are friendships and friends will always be. Salute.